So today we got to see Xbox's future plans because it got leaked. So as you guys can see here right now, you guys are seeing the Xbox Series X mid-gen refresh, which is all digital. That means pretty much the next generation is just going to be all digital. Maybe Sony might offer, you know, that detachable disk drive for their PlayStation 6. But right out the box, it'll pretty much be all digital. You know, you're going to have to buy that detachable disk drive. Um, so anyways, this Xbox Series X digital model will be $599. It'll have a USB-C port with power delivery. Interesting. So two terabytes of storage same xbox series x that we have today it's really nothing special but it's just an all-around digital model pretty much all xboxes whenever this come out which is supposed to come out in october 2024 all xboxes after october 2024 will be pretty much all digital nothing more nothing less now this is where things get really interesting. So this is pretty much um, the next generation Xbox, you know, its early details. And they could be switching to ARM. And the GPU is going to be using Navi 5. And Zen, the CPU has Zen 6, graphics innovation, next gen direct X ray tracing. Uh, micro polygon rendering optimizations, machine learning based super resolution, extensibility model for faster iteration and innovation. So, cloud hybrid games, meaning that you're going to have to always be connected online in order to play these new video games on this next generation Xbox. <sighs> that is, you know. What, what if I didn't have an internet connection? What would I be able to do with the next generation Xbox in 2028? What would I be able to do? So, I hope that there is, you know, some leeway with single player games to where you don't need an internet connection to play those games. But we're gonna have to wait and see. But here's something that's really interesting on this. Forward compatibility. I don't see backwards compatibility on this slide. I, I don't see it. So I'm hoping that this next generation Xbox has backwards compatibility because that is at this point one of the big things about owning an Xbox be by being allowed to play their legacy stuff. You know, whether it's Xbox One, Xbox 360, and original Xbox. Yeah, sure, you're not going to be able to play all the games for those systems, but the fact that you have some compatibility for, you know, playing, you know, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and OG Xbox 2001, like, that is a good thing. So, I hope they keep, you know having the backwards compatibility for this next generation Xbox that's supposed to come out in 2028. Now, my honest thoughts, honestly, at this point, digital, it's gonna happen. All digital systems, it's, it's gonna happen. So, yeah. It, it was just, who's going to do it first? And in this case, it seems like it's going to be Microsoft. But, yeah, that's all I got to say. What do you guys think of all these Xbox leaks coming out today? Let me know in the comment section below this YouTube video. Hope you guys have a good day. This is Levon Case to sign out. And peace!